hello students uh, in this lecture we will discuss d to a conversion that is digital to analog conversion in the previous uh, lecture we discuss how to have analog to digital conversion so in this uh, session we will discuss what is the basic concept of uh, digital signal to analog conversion then what are the different types of digital to analog converters where we will uh, discuss in detail two types of converters one is weighted resistor digital to analog converter and r to r digital to analog converter this is the reference book which is modern digital electronics by rp jain of publisher tata macrofil so let us discuss what is this basic principle so here you can see uh, we have uh, if we have a binary input say 0 or 1 so the simple conversion is you have to just uh, convert the binary value into its decimal equivalent so here this is the basic uh, concepts of conversion that is so the the least significant bit is being multiplied by 2 power 0 added to the next bit with 2 power 1 the next bit multiplied by 2 power 2 the next bit multiplied by 2 power 3 and so on till the last bit which is being multiplied by 2 power n minus 1 so here what it is written the bi value will be 1 if the bit value is present or 1 and bi will be 0 if the bit value is 0 so if it is 0 that that term will be uh, removed from the expression so here a very small example if we have all the bits equal to 1 that is b0 is equal to 1 b1 is equal to 1 b2 is equal to 1 b3 is equal to 1 so how the analog value will be calculated so we have b0 which is equal to 1 into 2 power 0 then the next value b1 which is 1 into 2 power 1 plus 1 into 2 power 2 plus 1 into 2 power 3 which comes out to be 15 volt so the bit value which is 1 1 1 and 1 is converted into its analog value which is 15 volt through this simple calculation so this basic principle is used to design different types of digital to analog converters so basically uh, in this uh, lecture we will discuss two different kinds of converters one is weighted resistor digital to analog converter and second one is r to r uh, ladder digital to analog converter so first uh, before discussing in detail we'll discuss the concept of summing amplifier so here you can see here we have an operational amplifier with negative negative terminal and positive terminal this negative is called inverting terminal and plus is non inverting so if input is coming on this inverting terminal the final output is reverse that is minus or it is called phase shifted so very uh, fundamental concept is uh, if we'll calculate the resultant value v output it comes out to be here you can see because as i have told you the signal is coming on to the negative terminal so it will be minus rf into i because v is equal to ri so rf that is the feedback resistance feedback is this output is connected to input is feedback resistance and the current flowing through it is if and if we have three different inputs v1 v2 v3 which is connected via this uh, non uh, inverting terminal through uh, resistors r1 r2 r3 so certain current will flow through this you uh, know arm which is i1 in this arm the current is i2 and this arm is i3 so that will be added in order to generate if so that is why it is called summing amplifier so we know that so if so v output will be minus rf into if and if is the resultant or the summing value of i1 i2 i3 it will be i1 plus i2 plus i3 and what is i1 will be v1 by r1 I2 will be V2 by R2 and I3 will be V3 by R3. So resultant output is the sum value, and because it is coming on to the uh, inverting terminal, so it will be minus RF into V1 by R1 plus V2 by R2 plus V3 by R3. And this is how this uh, summing amplifier works uh, when input is given at the inverting terminal. so this concept is used in uh, two types of converters 
So here you can see we have a uh, the first is weighted digital to analog converters. So so circuit is simple. So we have different inputs from first input, second input, and n minus one input. And here this is called weighted uh, digital to analog converter because the weight of the resistance is increasing. So we have two power zero, two power one, two power two, up to two power n minus one. So we know that as the resistance value increases, the current limits. यानी जैसे-जैसे current uh, resistors की resistor की value बढ़ती है, उतना ही कम current flow करता है. तो इसलिए आप देख सकते हो कि जिस आम में we have the lowest resistance value, so that at that terminal we have MSB. और जिस आम में यदि इस terminal में highest resistive value है, वो that is taken to be LSB. And so so bit value is Vn minus 1 and this L at the LSB we have bit value is B0 and the resistance value is 2 power 0 R, 2 power 1 R into and uh, 2 power N minus 1 R. So this is again, we have used the summing amplifier, the digital input is given at these two input terminals. So for 1 we have plus VCC and for 0 we have ground, it is a universal concept. and if we take it as minus negative value so minus vr means we have to give the negative value agar hum so negative value de denge to ultimate value will be positive aur agar positive value denge to ultimate value will be negative to isliye humne reference kijiyega minus vr likha jisse ki resultant analog value comes out to be positive value because because hum negative terminal pe de rahe hain to minus value generate hogi so, we have value discuss the uh, expression discussed here minus RF into this the summing value. And here we have minus VR, which is the final value positive. So, you can see that this switch is a digitally controlled switch for selecting the value 0 and 1. So, the value is in digital form. If you have one, then you can connect plus VCC and if you have zero, then you can connect ground. So, this is the इससे जो भी डिजिटल वैल्यू दे रहे हैं दैट विल एंटर इनटू दिस सर्किट थ्रू डिजिटली कंट्रोल्ड स्विच और उस रेस्पेक्टिव करंट जनरेट होगा तो एमएसबी वैल्यू मैक्सिमम होगी और एलएसबी के लिए मिनिमम वैल्यू बिकॉज़ वेटेज के हिसाब से भी एलएसबी की वेटेज सबसे कम होता है और एमएसबी का वेट सबसे ज्यादा होता है तो आप देख सकते हो जब इसके थ्रू जो वैल्यू आएगी दैट विल बी माइनस मतलब इस रेजिस्टेंस के थ्रू जो वैल्यू कैलकुलेट करके आएगी वी आउटपुट विल बी अगर हम खाली फर्स्ट आर्म की बात करें तो इट विल बी माइनस आर एफ इनटू यहां पे जो बिट वैल्यू आ रही बी एन माइनस वन डिवाइडेड बाय द रेजिस्टेंस वैल्यू 2 पावर 0 इनटू आर तो अगर हम देखें यहां पे तो यहां पे क्या था माइनस आर एफ तो इसको हम ऐसे देख सकते हैं माइनस आर एफ बाय आर वन इनटू वी वन अगर इस इस एक्सप्रेशन को देखें तो हाउ इट इज बीइंग कैलकुलेटेड the feedback value minus RF into the is arm jo bhi resistance value upon R1 into the voltage level. So, this is the same thing. If we calculate the first arm ki value, calculate to jayega, minus RF upon 2 power 0 into R theke, into to yambe bit value decide karega, ki signal 1 uh, value 1 has 0, so that will be multiplied by Bn minus 1 into jo voltage yahan pe R. Hai, will be minus VR. So this minus VR will be VCC or ground level. See the second arm so jo value hai, will be minus RF divided by 2 power 1 into R multiplied by BN minus 2 into minus VR. Similarly, jo last arm se value generate hogi, uh, that will be minus RF divided by 2 power N minus 1 into R multiplied by B0 into the वोल्टेज लेवल फॉर डिसाइडिंग 0 और 1 तो इस सारी वैल्यूज को हम ऐड अप कर देंगे तो फाइनली एक्सप्रेशन व्हाट वी गेट फॉर एनालॉग सिग्नल इज सी यू कैन सी ओवर हियर तो हमने क्या किया यहां से माइनस rf अपॉन 2 पावर n minus 1 r को कॉमन ले लिया है सारी वैल्यूज में से तो जब हमने कॉमन लिया तो अगर हम लास्ट वाली देखें तो यहां से माइनस आर एफ अपॉन टू पावर एन माइनस वन आर कॉमन ले ले तो क्या बचा खाली बी जीरो बचा 
into one. तो यहाँ पे आप expression देख सकते हो till two power zero b zero. इस तरह इस पूरे expression में से अगर हम minus r f upon two power n minus one r common ले लेंगे, तो we have this residue two power n minus one into b n minus one because this value will cancel out with this value. What will be left with is minus r f into two power zero r into b n minus one. So this simply हमने value क्या common ले ली तो ये हमारा ये expression आ गया है. So that is k. अगर हम इसको compare करें first expression so this see this is k. जैसे मैंने बताया था basic principle. So k is some constant and that the the conversion principle is b zero two power zero plus b one two power one b two two power two and so on. So the same expression is coming out over here. So this is equivalent to k. And we have two power n minus one b n minus one plus two power n minus two b n minus two plus two power zero b power zero into the resultant reference value. So this whole expression will give you the final analog value corresponding to the digital input one and zero. So this is how this weighted digital to analog converter works, where the digital input is converted into analog value through this summing amplifier. Where the weight of the resistor is increasing from 2 power 0 R to 2 power n minus R. The 2 power 0 R is for MSB value and 2 power n minus 1 into R is for LSB value. So next is R to R digital to analog converter. So here you can see why it is called R to R digital to analog converter because uh, the resistance value is uh, in R to R fashion. Uh, fashion so it is r 2r then r 2r r 2r and so on so again we are using inverting uh, mode uh, some uh, amplifier operation amplifier so this is the general configuration if we see an example so we have taken three uh, bit input for three bit input so we have r 2r configuration so we have r 2r r 2r r 2r and here we have the selection of uh, bit value so here uh, here we have just reverse here this value is LSB and this terminal is for MSB so again there is a selection of 0 or 1 0 or 1 0 1 so here you can see for B0 the equivalent value will be a reference value will be VR by 2 power 3 so that is the least value and this is the maximum value VR upon 2 power 1 and this is the intermediate value VR upon 2 power 2 if you will see what will be the equivalent value that will uh, be calculated through this operation amplifier through this first arm is so again because it's a inverting terminal there will be minus rf upon if you add these two value it comes out to be 3r because these are in series so minus rf upon 3r and the resultant value for voltage will be vr upon 2 power 3 that will multiply by B0 because this term is for LSB. So it will multiply by B0. Then for middle value it is again minus RF in upon R plus 2R is 3R into the weightage of this uh, voltage level is VR upon 2 power 2 and multiply by bit value B1. And for most significant bit it will be minus RF upon 3R into VR by 2 power 1 into B2 b2 it will be b2 consider it to be b2 and then if we'll take this uh, value minus rf by 3r into vr by 2 power 3 as a common which will act as a k value so what is uh, again you get the same expression 2 power 0 b0 plus 2 power 1 into b1 plus 2 power 2 b2 and this will give you the resultant analog value so ultimately what you if you compare with the first slide this is the basic principle so that that basic equation is used in both the converters in a weighted D to, a digital to analog converter where the final expression again is in the uh, is being compared with the first equation basic principle equation and this equation is also the same where this is the k value and we have 2 power 0 b0 per 2 power 1 b1 plus 2 power 2 b2 so if we have say 1 0 1 so what we will get is 1 plus 4 is 5 
and with certain multiplication of constant values. So near about 5 volt. For 101, you'll get a 5 volt equivalent value. So this is how the digital input is converted into analog values through different kinds of converters. So thank you and I hope you must have uh, learned how to convert a digital input into the uh, analog signal.